one thing I want to share with you is, I think I'm going to go ahead and share the verse with you. And I love this verse. I love this passage of scripture so much that it is from Isaiah. So if you want to get, by the way, if you want to get, with these fun Fridays, I usually just go through a little drawing lesson and draw around scripture. And so that's what I'm going to be doing today. And it is Isaiah 43. I'm, I'm reading from the message, but the verse is so powerful. And NIV message, you know, different um, different paraphrases of, of the scripture. But it is incredible. And again, if y'all are jumping on, say hello. I'd love to hear from y'all. And this is the verse. Be alert. Be present. I'm about to do something brand new. And then it goes on to say, it's bursting out. Oh, hello, Lori. I mean, Lois. And thank you. Oh, hello, Tammy. Um, oh, my goodness. Oh, thank you for your sweet words. And I hope your day in Crossville, Tennessee is starting off well. And um, so this whole concept of fall and how we're starting with fall, and it's a new season. It's like we've turned the page in 2023, and I love seasons so much. We've turned the page, and we're in a new season. And so that means there are new things. It's like, um, you know, in the movie, You've Got Mail. It's, I love that movie so much. You know, he talks about um, Tom Hanks, like, I could give you a bouquet of sharpened pencils. It's like everything is new and fresh in the fall. Even though the season, you know, even though the year and the leaves are turning colors and all that, it is still this new chapter. And so, hello, Karen, and happy Friday to you. So fun to see y'all's names pop up. And so what I want to do today is think about a symbol, whatever it is that you could draw that reminds you of something new. Now, if we were in the spring, it would be like, woo, flowers are blooming, you know, little buds on the trees are coming out, but now it's fall. And so it's a different kind of way that we can see it. However, I want to kind of flip our thinking into when the leaves are changing, and I didn't know this until a friend told me this, and y'all may know this. Hello, Chris. Yes, new chapter and fresh start. I am all about fresh starts. And so that's what I want to talk about. Be alert, be present. I'm about to do something brand new. And then it goes on to say, it's bursting out. Don't you see it? I'm making a road in the desert. God is making a road in the desert. And I love that concept. If you feel like you're in, you're in the desert, if you feel like, you know, we've talked about that verse, which I love and what we're painting um, what we did last week, and we're painting around this chapter in this passage of scripture for this pumpkin workshop that I'm having, which, by the way, let me just show you this real quick. Um, whoops. Um, oh, hello, Debbie. Oh, thank you so much. Um, it is such a joy to just have y'all, and thank y'all, too, for shining your light. And y'all, I just feel, I always feel like when I get on here, it's just like I feel God's presence. I feel his smile. I feel his, feel his joy. But this is what we're doing. I know the words are backwards, but this is what we're doing for the painting workshop that's coming up September 28th. So it's coming up. You can get your supplies. It's only $10. And the whole verse is Psalm 126, the message version. It's that, so those who went off with heavy hearts will come home with blessing, with laughter and armloads of blessing. And I think of all of us holding just a whole bunch of pumpkins and every pumpkin has a blessing on it. And then I think about you know, we're painting these pumpkins. That's our symbol of like blessing and a newness and a freshness. But I feel like we're kind of like on a runway too, to this workshop and to pre and even for fall. And to, so to prepare our hearts, to prepare our minds into the season is truly embrace. Um, oh, Diane, hello, hello, is truly embrace the newness of the season. And then and think about like, I think a great um, way to look at the day and look at the season is I'm going to be open for surprises. I'm going to be open for what God has for me. And, it, and they could be surprises where you didn't think like, wow, you know, this is so, it's a surprise and it's God's goodness. I mean, for example, oh, Joellen, hello, welcome, good morning. Um, for example, for me, you know, a surprise was like I spent two years praying, praying that I would get pregnant and have my, my baby, and, you know, and, and it didn't happen. And then I went through a blood condition where they told me like flat out, you can never have a child biologically. But you know what? I was open to surprises. So we started praying and we're like, okay, well that door is shut. So let's go through the, another door and just praying like, God, where do you want us to adopt from? We knew the adoption was the next step. Hello, Cassie and Montgomery. And God gave us Sam. And then he built our family through adoption. We went all the way to Russia. We adopted Sam. It was the most magical 
amazing time with God's hand all over it. And so I think about, I was praying for one thing in one direction, whoop, but God had this whole different direction. And so I feel like even in this new fall of, you know, the season of fall, I love the name of the fall of autumn. I love calling the fall. We're in autumn. You know, we are in this beautiful time where the leaves are changing. And I'm going to go back to the leaves in a second because I think it's so cool. But, um, oh, Rhonda, I'm so glad. I look forward to this too. And I'm so glad that we can start doing this on Fun Friday. So again, this is um, 11 o'clock CST time every Friday. And then I'll have like a lesson, um, you know, from the lesson you'll have, I'll, I'll have it on the blog and on YouTube as well and an email. So you'll kind of see it in different places. But I just feel like we can look for these new surprises that God has us in this time of the year. And it's a fresh start. Fall is a fresh start. We have this new bouquet of sharpened pencils or a new bouquet of colored pencils or magic markers or watercolors, whatever it is that we can start creating. If you need to skip in your step, if you feel like you have a heavy heart or you just need whew, a breath of fresh air, then I would say creating and just even if you've never picked up a paintbrush or never like really started creating in a way that maybe you thought would, that you wanted to or you just kind of want to take that baby step. I think art and creativity is such a gift from God. So the painting workshop, again, I'm going to have the end of September, September 28th. You can go ahead and sign up for it if you want to and paint this blessing pumpkin. But for today, we're going to paint something that's around fall, and it's about leaves. And I'm going to share with you how I draw a wonky leaf and then paint it. And then I'm just really excited because I'm going to use this first. And... Also with leaves, y'all, again, y'all probably know this, but I'm going back to what I was about to say. Um, leaves have, leaves become their truest, like, color in the fall. I never knew that. So when they start turning, they, le they lose the chloroform. The chloroform, I think that's the name of it. They lose that green. And then the true colors come out in the reds and the yellows, and that's their true color. My friend was doing, she was studying about, in, in science, and she was telling me about this. She's a teacher, and she went on to grad school, and she was telling me about how incredible leaves are. And I thought, I had no idea. Yes, Marie, something wonderful is about to happen. What a great, I mean, I love that statement, and I just love uh, thinking about always believe something wonderful is about to happen, and be open to the, you know, always believe something wonderful is about to happen that's backed up with, you know, scripture, which is truly says, be truly glad you know, there is, are, there are good things ahead. Be truly glad. God is going to do great things. And so, and that goes into being open to all the surprises that God has for us in this new season. So, and again, the leaves come out with their truest colors in the fall. Chlorophyll. Yes, chlorophyll, not chloroform. That's what you <laughs> And all creatures great and small. I don't know if y'all watch that show. I love it so much. And I think they put the dogs to sleep, like with the chloroform. <laughs> Chlorophyll. Thank you, Corley. <laughs> okay, we're going to flip the camera around. We're going to start. If you have watercolors, a pen, marker, magic markers, Crayolas, color pencils, or just a pencil, you can draw along with me because we are making a little card with this special verse in it. And it's almost like we can make it a card for ourselves. I think it's really fun to make little secret cards for ourselves where it's like, this is from God to me. And it's just like what God has been showing me. Or And we can use this card as a gift to one of our friends. So it's really like a double card. Like you can make several of these. So we're going to make little cards today. I'm going to switch the camera around. Do, 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 and we're going to get started. Now, you see this painting I've done. And this is where I'm going to start. So you see the painting and you see all the fun things of fall. You know, we have the pumpkins. We have the leaves. We have the sunflowers that come out in the fall. We have the mushrooms. And all, what I'm missing right now is like a little baby deer <laughs> that I saw, like I just said, I saw my yard last night and it was just magical seeing the little white spots all over the little fawn. But what we're going to focus on is painting a wonky, and I would say Matisse-like leaf, because this reminds me when Matisse was older, he cut out all these fun shapes and they're very flowy and wonky. And so we're going to paint a little fun leaf and we're going to use this verse. So, I love this so much. Again, this is going back to, I'm going to move the camera in a little bit more so y'all can see. And let me know if y'all have any questions. But, again, I think this is a great and powerful verse to think about when we are starting the fall. Be alert. Be present. 
Like, look around. See what God's doing. I'm about to do something brand new. Don't y'all love that word brand new? I mean, like, God is going to do things brand new. And then it says it's bursting out. And then the whole scripture says, and don't you, do you not see it? I'm making a way through the desert. And let's think about that. God is making a way through the desert. And so when you go back to the verse about if you're coming in with heavy hearts and then God's going to bring home laughing with armloads of blessing. Oh my goodness, Tracy, you're about to go well watching. I was just thinking about you this morning. Oh, hello, hello. I hope you're well watching. It's absolutely amazing. And you see the most wonderful wells out there. I'm praying for that. So, okay. So anyway, I just feel like this is what God is doing. Like if we are bringing in heavy hearts and we feel like, oh my goodness, God, please make a road in the desert. God is going to do that. We have to trust him for that. He is going to make a way. He is going to make a road in the desert. He is truly going to bring us home laughing with armloads of blessing. We just have to trust him for it. And it may be different than what I, you know, what I was sharing with you earlier, like what our prayers are and what we long for. It may be a little bit different than what we're praying for, but God is going to give us good things. So let's go ahead and get started. Again, I have this little leaf that we're going to be painting and drawing, but here is my little bitty card. We're making either a card for ourselves or for, for a friend. We're going to write the scripture in it. But first, okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the card. This is a card I found, and it has a little bit of smudge on it, but I feel like it's going to work really well. So let me open up my magical suitcase. You know, my little magical suitcase. We are God made girls creating magical and colorful worlds. Melissa Grace, yay! Oh, yes, you're saying have so much. I hope, I know that um, Tracy is going to have a blast going on this well watching adventure. So I'm just getting out some, basically some watercolors. This is my little, I, I put all kinds of things in here, but I have paper towels, a magnifying glass, glue. But all I'm going to get out right now is the classics watercolors. I'm going to keep it really simple today. I'm going to just use a size nine brush and and I'm not even going to use pastel drinks. I'm just going to use the classics because that is all we need today and a piece of paper. So, oh yeah. And one more thing. We need some magic markers or like a permanent pen. So I'm going to get one of these pens. I think I'll choose an SC. I think that will do well. And so sometimes when I'm practicing like on a piece of paper, I just, I just kind of see if the pen is still, if it's not dried out so I can really use it and it will work well. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to write down some of this verse, and then we're going to paint a leaf on the front. And this is going to be our little card from God to us and for the fall. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. Okay, and you can, and then again, let me go through the supplies. If you haven't heard of the classics, they're premium marketing. I love these so much because you can take them anywhere. Even when Tracy is out well watching, she can take her magical suitcase on her vacation. And so then we have number nine, paintbrush. And then a pen. This is Faber-Castell SC. Now, you can use, I like B as well, but Faber-Castell is a great pen too. I mean, the great size. So, I want to write this verse. Be alert. And this is, again, from the message version. Be alert. Be present. I'm just going to keep this verse. I'm going to just kind of not write the whole verse. I'm just going to write this. Be alert. Be present. I'm about... I know this is kind of jiggling a little bit, to do something brand new. Okay. I just feel like these few words, and there's so much to be said about writing out scripture or writing anything. <laughs> I have been hearing so many things lately about, and this is from Isaiah 43, the message version. It's 4319 that over there. So I've heard so much lately about writing and how the research and the studies on the brain and how when you write something down, it goes from your brain. I mean, it's like it's in your brain, but it, comp it really changes and transforms when you write it and how your brain processes, processes it in a different way. And you kind of get it out of your head and onto paper. And that's, I think that's why I love journaling so much because you get things out of your head onto paper and you can see things in a new way. And so I am 100% all about writing as much scripture down as possible. I don't think we can ever write enough scripture down. I literally write scripture every morning. And sometimes it's the same thing because I go through Psalms every day. And so 
Oh, I, oh, Melissa Grace, you said you've come upon watercolor and acrylics together. You're so in love. Oh, my goodness. I'll have to see what you've created with watercolors and acrylics combined together. That sounds like so, that just sounds magical. Now, of course, I have to make some little doodads. I'm going to make like a little leaf right here. And all that is, is just a little curves with a little point, And that's a leaf. Now, I'm sure we can all talk about our favorite trees and what leaves we love. And I was going to even research some tree leaves and like draw them. But then I'm like, you know, I'm just going to paint these. I mean, I'm going to draw these and you can figure out like what your favorite is. Now, this is our little symbol. It's almost like a secret. <laughs> I, was, I love little secret things. I think it's like a little secret note from God to us. And it's like he's giving us this note. He's saying, okay, we can even write dear and then our name right here. Like, I'm looking at Melissa Grace. Your, your name's right here. Like, Dear Melissa Grace. And then have a little leaf on here. Oh, and then be open to all the surprises. I'm going to write this down. Open to surprises. And that is what God is doing in the fall. Okay, I'm going to make like a little present box. I'm going to say I'm open to surprises. Okay? Like, they're God surprises. So, this is our little, and we're going to, obviously, we're going to color this, but I'm going to show you how to make a little leaf. Now, see my little splotch right here? Of course, this is wonky. We're keeping all things wonky here. It's not going to be perfect. The more imperfect, the better. So let me move my little leaf over here so y'all can see it while I'm drawing. Of course, my mushroom's right there as well. So y'all can see the little leaf. And again, you may want to take a piece of paper and practice drawing leaves, but the more you keep it loose and wonky, and imperfect, the better the leaf is going to be. So I'm just going to make the top of it like a little curve and then make another little curve and then three little curves down and three little curves down. And the faster you do, I think the better. I mean, that is a very wonky leaf. It's not perfect, but it's wonky. So it has a top little curve and then three curves down. And then it comes and forms the little stem and there you have the leaf. And you can make it however you want, but I want it to be as wonky as we can make it. And then you make a little line in the middle. It can kind of be a curvy, wonky line. And then little lines right here. And voila, we have a leaf. In fact, you could even make a little border of little flowers because, of course, we have some flowers in the fall. Actually, we have so many flowers in the fall. And this is your little, and you know what I want to do? I want to put like little hearts in this leaf. I just decided we're going to do this because this is our little love note from God. And I feel like now we can see, oh my goodness, I just thought about this. But now when we see leaves like falling down, we can say, oh my goodness, this is like little love notes from God to remind us that this is a new season of autumn. And he, <laughs> and then may we be alert, be present because we want to be surprised for God doing new things, brand new things, things in our lives that He's making a way in the desert. Okay, now let's let's get into the fun of color. We can't forget the color, so I'm getting out all my fun little supplies, which is I'm keeping it very simple. It's just the watercolors. That's all you need. Or you can just get magic markers. I have water next to me, a paper towel. Oh, my goodness, yes, that could be a little beautiful flower growing high off the page with a little tag at the bottom. Oh, my goodness, that's a great idea. I love that. Melissa Grace, if you do that, then um, I want to see what you create. Okay, so I'm just getting some yellow paint and making a yellow leaf. Of course, I can't just keep it just yellow. I'm going to have to add some other colors in here as well. But see how fun this is? I don't know what it is. The magic of picking up a paintbrush and painting. I, I can never, I'll never get tired of it. In fact, I really think that in heaven we're going to be creating and we're going to be painting. Can you even imagine what it's going to be like? It's going to be absolutely amazing. Now, then I'm going to get like little pink, this hot pink that I love. And again, you can do little magic markers. You can do whatever you want. Make little hearts in the leaf. And there we go. We have our fun little leaf. It was so simple to make. Now, of course, I can't let just orange go with the leaf. I'm going to have to, I mean, yellow. I'm going to have to add a little bit of orange because you know how leaves always have like different variations of colors, and oh my goodness, I just love fall. Now, you know what's beautiful in the fall is that blue sky. So I'm just going to make like blue stripes on the background of my leaf. I can never have enough stripes. They just make me so happy. 
Stripes are just, there's something special about doing stripes. I love stripe wallpaper. I love stripe fabric. I love doing stripes everywhere. So there we go. This is like a symbol of the of the newness and the fresh blue skies, the fresh air and all that. So now I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to flip over. Even though this, <laughs> this isn't completely dry, I'll probably get a little bit of watercolor on my back, on my table, but that's okay. Okay, so now I want to add, do do do, coming a little bit closer. Again, if y'all have questions, just let me know. And y'all may be doodling along too, and that just makes me smile thinking about, or you can just come back and doodle later, because this is what it's all about. Just doodle, doodle, doodle. And I thought, you know what? I want to make a red leaf because I love red leaves, like candy apple red leaves. And I've shared too before, but I'll share it again how in my yard, there's one tree that has these bright red leaves and they only, they only come down like in August. And it's crazy because we're still in the heat of August, but it's like God's saying, hey, be alert, be present. I'm about to bring you fall. Something's changing. I'm bringing in some new things. And that is what God's doing here again. If y'all are just jumping on, we are going through a little secret note from God to us that he is doing surprisingly wonderful, brand new things. Isaiah 43, the message Bible, and then we're open to surprises. So, of course, you know, I love this pink, this watercolor pink. <laughs> I could paint all day with pink. And, of course, we have to have a little present. It's like little presents from heaven falling down. That God is going to give us surprises and just trust him for these surprises that he's going to give us. I think it'd be amazing if we woke up every day and we had a smile on our face and we're like, even though sometimes have you ever woken up, you know, you wake up in the morning and you're going through something really hard and there's like a pit in your stomach. But however, if we change that and just trust God and say, you know what, God, I know I'm open to these fun surprises you have for me. I know that you're doing new things. I'm going to believe that something wonderful is about to happen. And that is what this is all about. This, these leaves, y'all. Oh my goodness! If we were like next door neighbors, we could all we could all just talk about leaves all day long. And go. This is a present from God. We're going to look outside as the leaves start changing. This can be a symbol, almost like we have it ingrained in our mind that God is going to do something brand new. God is going to bring us surprises. God is going to redeem and remake, and He is going to make. You know what? I'm going to have to write this down because it's so powerful. It's part of this verse. He's going to make a road through the desert. And I'm going to write this right here. And this is what's so fun about your own little secret note to yourself. You can write down whatever sticks out to you with this chapter and with this verse. God made a road through the desert. You know, and I could have said God is making a road through the desert or God is going to. But you know what? He's already made a road through the desert. We just don't know it yet because God has everything planned and mapped out. And he just wants us to trust him. Oh my goodness, this makes me so happy. I wish we could all just be like Zoom and pop up together right now. <laughs> and all make little cards together and then talk about how we want to see God doing new things in our heart. In fact, you know what? Feel free. Um, oh, Melissa Grace, thank you. <laughs> I've never thought about my penmanship. I feel like it's kind of um, all over the place. And I do like, I do uppercase, lowercase and all that. But okay, so... That is our little secret note from God to us. And you can write to your name or you can give this to, you can make one of these for your friend. How simple is this? This is a little fall note for you from God. And it's also something that you can give a friend and just remind them if they're really struggling, like, hey, guess what? God is going to do something brand new. Okay, so I hope y'all have had fun looking at this. I'm going to wrap this up. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> um, this day, I just love being on here. I love, um, oh, Karen. Oh, thank you. And Lucy, hello. Oh, yes, this verse is just, it's a powerful verse. Um, Aaron, I'm so glad. Yes, I'm so glad. You know what? God has this verse for you, I would say, for such a time as this. Like, I know, I mean, this is for God is speaking to each one of you personally. And it's one of those things where, again, this morning, I opened up my Bible <laughs> I was having my quiet time and I'm like, okay, God, show me what verse I need to, I knew I was going to paint some leaves or just draw a leaf, like a simple leaf. But I want I'm like, God, show me the verse that I need to share today. And sometimes, um, and I've shared this before in my art club, God, my girl club about how sometimes I have something planned and then God says, no, 
go this way. And that's just where I am. Like, I just want to be open to God's spirit. And so I pray that this verse will give you a fresh wind in your sails that will give you, um, there's a verse about in Psalms 11, it's the message paraphrase version. And it says, God, bring me back from gray exile. Kind of like bring me back from those, that feeling like I'm in a desert or feeling overwhelmed or feeling I have that heavy heart. And then he's like, God saying, you know, the verse is, and I think it's David saying, put a fresh wind in my sails. And I think it's just so powerful and beautiful to think about, put a fresh wind in our sails for this fall. God, help us know and help us really claim this verse in Isaiah 43, that God, you are going to do wonderful things. And I want to be alert and present for that. And sometimes that's being really quiet, listening to his voice, but it's also having that posture of saying, waking up and going, okay, I'm open for God's surprises. I'm open for God really working in this fall, in this time of the year, where there is a whole new fresh page to write on. And that is where we are. We are truly making these little leaves come alive with a meaning, with a meaning of, okay, this, when we see a leaf fall down and we start seeing them change colors in their truest color, it's like, ooh, that is God. So God, what do you have for me? And just when we start seeing all the confetti, I call it confetti. When the leaves start falling off the trees, it's like confettiville. God, what do you have for me? And so, um, and, and, and also we can just say, God, you are making a way in the desert. Like, we don't have to say, God, will you make a way? We can trust that God is already making the way. When I was praying desperately to get pregnant, and I couldn't for years. And everybody was like, oh, you'll get pregnant, no problem. God already knew the plan. He already knew that we would have three children from way, like way across, across halfway around the world that God was going to build our family through Russia and China. And now we have three precious children. And I cannot imagine any other way that God would have built our family. This is our family. God did it very differently than what I thought. But oh my goodness, it was a surprise. It was his grace. He did a new thing with our family. He's going to do a new thing continually in our lives. And he's already making way in the desert, already doing that. So I hope y'all are encouraged through this. We will continue with the fall and painting fall and doodling fall and drawing fall and talking about all the fall things with God's scripture, with his words um, throughout these fun Fridays, because I really want this time truly to bring a skip to your step, a skip to your step, a lightness to your heart. And God is making all things new.